Sean here. Um, if you followed along in my previous tutorials for Lapidary 101, we have talked about cutting a slab of stone from a chunk of, of rough material and then taking that and cutting out preforms, um, which are the general shape of, of our finished cabochon. Uh, but today I'm, I'm going to show you the cabbing machine, which is actually the way to take this preform and grind it to shape and, and, and smooth it out and polish it and, and really uh, make it the finished product. Um, so this is what we cut yesterday. Um, this is a, a chunk of chrysocolla, malachite, and gem silica. Um, it might look a little different than yesterday because uh, I dropped it and broke off a piece. But anyway, it's still going to work. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make it work and it'll look, um, it'll look real great. And I'm going to show you this machine and we'll get started. This is my capping machine. This is a Diamond Pacific Genie. And uh, it's kind of industry standard. Um, they make one size larger. It's called Titan. That has 8 inch wheels. These are 6 inch wheels. Um, and it is a grinding and polishing machine. So we start on the left. We're going to start on this one. And this is a, a diamond impregnated metal wheel that really does most of the heavy work. And then uh, we're going to move to this one to really smooth out our shapes, uh, kind of our dome. So if you look at this, um, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. There we go. Um, this is one I did last night. And it has a nice wall around it, which is called the girdle of the stone. Um, and then a dome on top. So uh, that's really what, what we're going for is a nice smooth shape um, with, a, with a good wall around it in order to, to set properly in jewelry. Um, so we're going we're gonna to grind it down on these two and then with the next four get increasingly fine polishes um, out of our, our, our stone. And uh, it runs with water. This is a little tray with water and these are pumps that you uh, that you put under each wheel as you as you work on it so you're never running this dry um, it, you, the water kind of cools the stone down and also keeps the dust down um, so I'll go ahead and, and start this running and we'll, we'll start uh, grinding this 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 preform away and... okay now before we get going uh, there are a few things that we need to do to prepare um, oftentimes people when they cab will will use what are called dop sticks and they'll take a, a stick and um, use wax, a special kind of wax, and adhere it to the back of the stone, and they'll use that to maneuver the stone on the wheels. Um, I've never I've never tried that, but I've never uh, really, that's never appealed to me. Uh, I, I enjoy working with, with my hands, so uh, I just use my hands and get real close, but um, the wheels aren't gonna cut you, but they can kind of wear your, your, skin, your skin down a little bit. So what I do is use something called alligator tape, um, and you just wrap it around, it adheres to itself, and uh, you wrap it around, and um, and it's kind of a way to protect your fingers from uh, from some of that. So you just kind of do that, and I do it on my two thumbs and then my first two fingers, because um, those are the only ones I really use. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my, my fingers up. And uh, when we do this, we also wanna use a mask, um, because as I've said in the past, some of these, uh, some of the dust from the, some of these stones can be dangerous, um, and also, Always use goggles on one of these machines because sometimes pieces of uh, stone can, can, can shoot off and fly up at you. So. Okay guys, so first step with this, um, you can see it's kind of roughly formed. Um, sometimes you can get a lot closer on your preform cut. Uh, I sometimes like to kind of improvise on the, on the cabbing machine a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to first do is just kind of smooth out the edges and kind of um, see what shape we're looking looking at because um, you have to still leave enough material along the edges to have a good girdle um, and so with something like this how it's kind of thin I'm gonna have to cut off some of that uh, you definitely lose a lot of material in in the cabin process sometimes so um, so we're gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and just start kind of whittling this down a little bit and um, and then reevaluate and, and think of uh, maybe a more geometric shape within within that so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so uh, as you can see, the first thing I'm working here are the walls. Um, so I'm kind of getting a, a nice, just a, a, a shape around 
uh, or kind of forming my shape. But uh, also, if you have, if you've chosen which side you want to be the top, um, that's something you know that's always a, um, a kind of a big decision. But um, you want to go at the wheel a little bit at an angle, so you're, you'll have a, a girdle that's going to slope slightly in all the way around it. That makes setting it in jewelry a lot easier. Um, but that's kind of the, the standard for, for making a cab. You want it to have, uh, I think it's like a 12 degree angle is kind of ideal. Um, but uh, so, so when you're hitting the wheel, just kind of put it at, at, uh, you know, at, a, at a bit of an angle, just down. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my wall on the, on the first wheel and then, um, and then move over to the smoothing wheel and, and go around that wall again. And, um, and then while you're still on that smooth wheel, or on the second, the second diamond wheel, um, you want to go on onto the back of the stone and actually put a little 45 degree, um, like kind of one swipe all the way around around the bottom of your stone, um, because if not, you have a really sharp edge here, and um, and that's prone to cracking and chipping. So um, before you start doming the top, uh, you want to finish your your wall and then go around and. Uh, Put a, a quick swipe of, of kind of a 45 degree kind of bevel um, along the, the bottom just to prevent chips. I've got my general shape now, and uh, that last bit I did was, was the bevel on the back that I was talking about, where it's just kind of one quick swipe down um, just to kind of uh, hit the edge to, to, to um, make it less sharp so it's not going not gonna to crack. Um, so now I've got the wall, the wall finished. This is the shape we're looking at. Um, and what I'm going to do now is start doming in the top and grinding away the, the top material. And uh, the way I'm going to do that is holding it, so if this is my top, I'm going to hold that flat against this, this diamond wheel. Um, and I'm actually going to grind it down until I get the, the girdle wall, the height that I, I want. So that's the, the girdle is just the, the wall around this. Um, so if you want it to be you know, three millimeters, um, you can grind this down and looking at it from above, um, you can kind of see it shrinking as you're working on it and once you get to that height just keep moving your stone around and uh, So what we're gonna do is kind of work from the outside in um, So we'll, we'll set the, the wall around The height of the wall around the whole stone first and then once we have that we're gonna start kind of smoothing out um, The edges on top of the stone and kind of that's how that's where the doming comes into play um, So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and get to work get to work on that Okay guys, uh, I just wanted to kind of show you where we are. Um, I kept working on the girdle a little bit and uh, was basically, um, you know, grinded it down to that wall height and, and, and would kind of go into the stone just a little bit, would kind of push it up to, to, to start doming the top, but I haven't really started focusing on that yet. But uh, this is where we stand right now. It's got a nice, nice smooth wall around it and it's going to be a really awesome piece. Uh, a lot of these, these blues and greens are the crystal coal and malachite. Um, in this this really kind of milky silica um, But you'll be able to see into the stone a lot There's almost like a, a, a forest in there going on and 
once we polish it up, um, that that's all really gonna pop. So it'll be, um, it's gonna be amazing. I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, now I'm gonna start actually um, doming, like kind of smoothing off the the dome, and um, I'm just gonna be working it the same kind of the same direction I had been before. But uh, instead of focusing on just staying on this wall, I'm gonna try to start going up and down um, to uh, to kind of smooth out. Um, the top of this, now I'll, I'll whittle that down a little bit too, because you don't want your, your, your it to be too tall. Um, just to be nice and smooth. Okay, so this is where we stand right now. Um, this is after just the first two wheels, um, just the grinding to shape, and uh, with the two diamond wheels. And you can see it's got a nice kind of even wall all the way around it. Um, the bottom, I don't know if you can see that slight bevel um, to kind of prevent the chips. And uh, just a good kind of low but, but clean and smooth dome. Um, so these are just the first two wheels. You kind of do most of your forming on those. Actually, the majority, the vast majority of it, and then we're gonna go into this guy, and this is it's gonna smooth out any kind of just small um, little unevenness is in, uh, in in the top. You can see how it's not perfectly smooth, but after this one, that should just it's kind of really gonna just just smooth it out, and then we'll move on to these guys for the final polishes, and um, just stay tuned. I'll show you uh, how it looks when we're uh, when we're getting close. Okay, so I just finished up on this third wheel, and uh, before I hop over to this side, I always um, I always stop and dry this off completely, and look at it in the light, and uh, check for scratches on the top. Um, usually, if I have them, they're right on the very top of the dome because I'll sometimes tend to um, neglect that part because I don't want to wear it down too much. But uh, you still really have to go over every part real well. Um, the scratches are caused by mostly the first mostly the first uh, first wheel. Um, and then the second one's really going to smooth that down. Um, but again, you have to go over every part of it with, with every wheel. Um, so after this, after this third wheel here, um, if you still have scratches, they're not going to come out on these last ones. So you'll need to, to go back to either the second wheel or just stay on the, 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 the black third wheel um, for a little bit longer. Just to make sure all the scratches get out before you move on to the final polishers. Okay guys, I'm down to the uh, the last two wheels. Um, but it's looking really, really nice and taking a great polish. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up and just uh, let you watch as, I, as, you know, I'm pretty much just doing the same the same movements on each wheel. I usually start with the girdle and, uh, and like I said, move across the whole surface of the wheel. And then I do the back little bevel. And then uh, as I'm doing the front, just kind of holding it, holding it face against the, the, uh, the wheel and just kind of working it and, and then moving it to different directions but kind of working it from from uh, one side to another and just kind of rounding it out and kind of feeling the you know feeling the flow if you will um, but uh, so I'm almost done and um, check it out
thanks so much for tuning in. Um, here is our final uh, product. And um, I'll try to get a better video to put at the end of this, of it, maybe in natural light. But uh, really happy with how it turned out. It's a beautiful piece. And uh, we got to see how it went all the way from uh, a big chunk of, uh, of rough rock down to a slab, then to cut to a preform. And, uh, and then today we, we went ahead and put the polish on and, and cabbed it up. And so um, next we can, we can set this in jewelry and I think it'll make a really beautiful piece. So uh, thanks for tuning in guys and uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting a lot more stuff about um, lapidary and jewelry making and uh, painting and uh, you know, other stuff in the future. But, um, but thanks so much for watching. See ya. I ain't